whether you want to do network engineering or you want to excel your career in cybersecurity, you need to learn NMAP. Let's start in this video. In this video, first of all, I will try to teach you what NMAP is and how does it work. Then we will try to solve a try hack me NMAP room. Without wasting any time, let's jump right into it. So before going to the try hack me box, you just need to understand what NMAP does. I am uh, on the website of NMAP. Uh, if you go to the documentation, so this is the NMAP reference guide. Here you can see, uh, first of all, uh, the synopsis uh, of NMAP. This is the synopsis. So then you can see the description of NMAP. It, it is a network mapper. It is an open source for network exploitation and security auditing. And uh, here you can see a representative NMAP scan. So NMAP-A, which is an aggressive scan, dash T4, uh, which is a timing and it is set to four. Yeah, if you go to the options summary, you can see here are uh, different of different options for different type of scan. So there are a lot of options. Uh, this is scan techniques dash SS dash SU. Uh, we will talk about them uh, when we try to do the hack the box challenge. So all these are the options for NMAP scan. And this is a very commonly used tool. So uh, if I try to go here, let's start a session on NMAP. So what NMAP does basically, uh, you have your computer uh, ideally sitting here. Uh, this is you. And suppose uh, this is a server which is somewhere over internet uh, and its IP address of 137.2.1.3. Suppose this is the IP address of a server. There are a number of different uh, paths it will take to reach this server. Now your PC will run an NMAP scan. This server will have several ports which are opened. So suppose there is port number 80 open, port number 22 open, port number uh, 443 open, port number 21, 22 open. Uh, sorry, 22 is already covered. 2021, which is for FTP. So 20 and 21 open. So these are all the ports which are open and you will try to scan all these ports uh, that these ports are open. Then what will you do in the next session? You will try to establish a connection between your PC to the server and you will try to uh, send some exploit over these ports because these ports are open. Uh, the server will ex uh, accept that those exploits and this will get uh, this will put the ser uh, server into a greater security risk so nmap and map is the first step first step towards hacking this is the first step if you want to penetrate test or ethically hack any website the first step is to do an nmap scan uh, try to map all the ports which are open then try to exploit them and this tool is also gives information about which OS version is running so you can try to find those uh, if suppose this uh, server is running uh, an Apache of version 1.3 now 1.3 Apache version is very very old and there are a lot of exploits which are floating around the internet uh, for this 1.3 apache server so now the attacker will simply copy those exploits and it will exploit the server so os version detection or service detection which is dash sv or os version detection is dash capital o these options will set this nmap into a whole new level so nmap is a great tool you need to understand this uh, for if you want to uh, learn ethical hacking if you want to penetrate penetration test to a website so this is a very fundamental and basic tool for learning now we will go to tryhackme.com and try an nmap room and do some practical stuff for uh, this purpose i will just go to my remote desktop uh, protocol and this is my raspberry pi uh, which is running kali linux and I have opened TryHackMe, uh, the NMAP uh, room of TryHackMe 
and I have just uh, deployed the machine. So first task is to deploy the machine. So I have just deployed it, the machine and here you can see uh, this is my Kai Linux box and I have already connected the OpenVPN. Here you can see initialization sequence completed. So I have set up all uh, these things. If you are troubling with uh, these setups, please let me know in the comments so that I can make a video about this also. Uh, so for Nmap, uh, my machine is deployed. This is my IP address. So I will just go to task number two, uh, which is an Nmap quiz. So this Nmap quiz is based on uh, the various options which Nmap provides us. To start with, uh, first of all, you uh, this is very important. So you just need to open the manual page of Nmap command. So you can run Nmap in Windows also, but in Kali Linux it is pre-installed and you can open up by man space Nmap so uh, here you can see the manual page for your nmap in this page uh, we have nmap which is network exploitation tool and security slash port scanner i will simply press space bar uh, here you can see it has uh, it is showing uh, some options summary and this is important for us now there are various options as you can see we have scan techniques scu is for udp scan like p for port so all these options there are a lot of options which you need to remember but uh, in this try hack me uh, lab we are just going to show uh, the basic first question is how do you access the help menu so Either you can open a manual page or there is another option uh, if I will just uh, go out of this page there is a, an option nmap uh, dash h which will open the help menu for nmap it will, it will also show all the options which are available for your nmap command or nmap search now uh, if I go back second question is with, what is the first switch uh, listed for a sin scan so you will just find what is sin scan here it is in its scan techniques ss is used for tcp sin so in the tcp protocol there is handshaking and the first packet which goes is a sin packet then it will send sin acknowledgement back then third packet is also acknowledgement so for tcp sin packets you just have to type ss which is also called as stealth scan uh, so this is the option and this is the answer then not quite as useful but how about a udp scan okay for udp scan you have to just type su it is very simple next one what about operating system detection so and map can also detect uh, what operating system which operating system is running uh, on target system for that if you go here is os detection option dash o enables os detection so this is capital o so in linux everything is case sensitive so you just need to remember that you have to type capital o if you will type small o it will not work so capital o dash capital o is uh, enabling os detection now next question how about version detection so for version detection this is version detection so dash sv is for version detection what is verbosity flag so you need to understand verbosity for that uh, what you need to understand that what verbosity is so first of all if i try to nmap uh, normal nmap 8.8.8.8 so this is google server and here you can see it is saying starting nmap at this this point and this point of time so it is showing time it is showing a starting end map and nothing else it will just show the result so result is here and map scan report so this will show the result that two ports are open here and map dash v which is verbose and 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8. you can see it is saying initializing ping scan scanning 8.8.8 .8 .8, completed ping scan so it is showing all the details the current details of the scan then after scanning it is showing the nmap scan report so this part is extra in uh, if you type dash v flag this part will be extra so it will show you all the details now question number seven what about very verbose 
that is dash vv it is very similar to verbose you can use that also and it will show the same thing how do we we'll save an output in xml format so just type and map dash h i will go there there are several options for output o n is for normal o x is for xml dash o small o then capital x so that is the answer for this question uh, question number nine aggressive scan can be a nice thing when other scan just get uh, aren't getting the output that you want the question is that which enables the aggressive scan now if you don't know any answer the try hack me has a thing called hint you can click the hint this is listed under the mics misc section and enables uh, pretty much everything misc section here it is dash a enabling os detection version detection script scanning so it is enabling a whole new different things so it is enabling a lot of things so this is dash a question number 10 how do i set the timing to a max level sometimes called insane for that you have to see that uh, there are several number of options uh, timing and performance so it has an option called dash t which is 0 to 5 t0 is the lowest and t5 is the highest which we call sometime call insane mode so this is the answer uh, the question number 10's answer there's t5 the next 11th question is what about if i want to scan a specific port and then 12 question is uh, i want to scan every port so these two questions uh, can be answered under port specification and scan order here you can see dash p is for port specified port and dash p dash is your every port so the, and then question number 13 is enabling using any script again you can go to help uh, script scan this is dash dash script uh, and dash hc is uh, equivalent to dash dash script so you can either use these two options uh, so answer is this then question number 14 what if i want to run all the script or uh, one of vulnerability category so you can always press the hint uh, vulnerability category is reference as VULN well. so question number 14's answer is dash dash script uh, or hyphen hyphen script space VULN well. question number 15 which what switch should I include if I don't want to ping the host skip host discovery so da uh, hyphen uh, capital P small n will treat all host as online it will not ping the host it will directly uh, just scan the ports which are opened on host so it will not ping that host this uh, method is important when you are uh, scanning a network with a firewall or an intrusion uh, prevention system on by default so these are different options in nmap next we are going to try to scan a machine so now we are going to do some practical things task 3 is nmap scanning here you can see First one is let's go ahead and start with the basic and perform a scene scan on the box provided. So box IP address is 10 10 196 21 and map. Uh, what was that scan called? Basic scene scan. So scene scan is as we saw dash ss. Then I will s capital S space. Uh, what was the IP address? 10 10 196 21. 10 10 196 21 okay uh, i have to just sudo it here you can see starting and map at 7.80 okay here you can see there are two ports open first one is ssh second one is http our scan will be performed by this command then after scanning this how many ports do we find open under thousand so it is two ports which is ssh and http what communication protocol is given for these port? So these both protocols, SSH and HTTP use TCP. Here you can see uh, TCP. So TCP is the answer. Then it is saying perform a service version detection scan. What I type and map SV, which is uh, version detection 10.10.196.21 starting and web scan so scan is done now uh, here you can see open ssh 6.6.1 6 
even ubuntu apache is version 2.4.7 sttp d uh, here we saw that which the version of software running on port number 22 port number 22 is ssh so this is the answer 6.6.1 p1 so this will be the answer then perform an aggressive scan what flag isn't set under reserved for port 80 so we can do an aggressive scan by typing hyphen a so scan is done now uh, here you can see which flag is not set in under port 80 here you can see http only flag not set so answer is http only uh, this is the answer then next question perform a script scan of vulnerability associated with the box what dos attack is this box susceptible to and all these things i can always press hint show you this can be slightly misleading as this is referred to as a check in the output if you get stuck solution is http slow risk check so this is the script name so uh, this was about this nmap box i will just terminate this hey thank you for watching this video and if you are new to the channel please subscribe i will make more uh, teaching videos like this and if you like my work uh, you can support me uh, by commenting down below anything or uh, if you have any doubt you can follow all the links are in the description box and please subscribe the channel like the video and i will see you in the next one bye